President Barack Obama designated three new national monuments this month, but some in Congress want to limit his ability to designate more. Tara Terragino has more from our Washington Bureau. Today, the Grand Canyon is protected as a national park and monument, but not all of it. And without protection, advocates fear this could be the next step. The mock auction was aimed at congressional efforts to weaken the Antiquities Act, which gives the president authority to identify and protect national monuments. And more than a dozen presidents over 100 years, Republican and Democrat alike, have used this authority to protect our most pristine natural areas around the world. Boots said the Grand Canyon is at great risk for two reasons. Logging threatens North America's oldest ponderosa pine forest and um, toxic uranium mining could also threaten the Colorado River which is a tremendous source of drinking water for the region. That's why environmentalists say 1.7 million acres around the canyon need protection. So what we would like to see is for the president to designate this additional area around the Grand Canyon as a national monument the Grand Canyon Watershed National Monument. That would ensure that it's protected for future generations. Representative Raul Grijalva says there will be consequences if public lands aren't protected. $10 billion, about 100,000 jo jobs directly and indirectly depend on the public lands uh, for, their, for their employment. However, representatives Paul Gosar and Trent Franks joined 23 others who wrote to President Obama saying that locking up public land would be devastating for local economies. Reporting from Washington, D.C., Tara Terragino, Cronkite News.